It's no good. Hey everyone, it's Vicky from Nomstop Foods. Today we're trying out a local new restaurant that's opening up called La Bosco Cafe. Chef Jacob and pastry chef Bruno are the ones that make all the food at this bakery. So they actually represented Team Canada for the IKA International Culinary Composition in Germany for 2020. That sounds super legit and I'm so excited to go try them out. Oh, wow, it looks so nice in here. <laughs> Welcome to Lavosco. Lavosco means the forest. So uh, as you see, like we plant a lot of trees so the customer feel like uh, sitting in the nature. So probably next year, everything's will growing up and hopefully you know, the, it feels like a forest. And uh, as you see, like we uh, prepare a lot of uh, cakes here and uh, the bread. Uh, we hire the baker from Korea and uh, the, we prepare Korean style of the uh, bread and cakes. Can I get a, a medium hot chocolate? Iced matcha chai latte, very very turkey sandwich, Labosco octopus and clam chowder. Can I get a croissant as well? I'm gonna start off with the drink, which is the green tea chai iced latte. Green tea powder on the bottom, see that? Stirring it in. Mm, okay, this is a very strong matcha flavored drink, but definitely it's sweetened too. So for those of you who don't really like the bitter taste, this is just perfect. And you can taste a little bit of milk in there as well. I also wanted to try a hot drink, so I ordered a hot chocolate. That foam on the top. <laughs> oh yeah, hot chocolate is really nice. I actually don't really like chocolate, but hot chocolate is like the only chocolate item I'll ever eat. <laughs> Hits the spot. Nice cup of hot chocolate on a nice cold day. Here is the octopus clam chowder. Oh, can you see that? Oh, yes. Just breaks so nicely. That fluffy fua fua pastry. It's like freshly baked out of the oven. And oh man, it's so crispy. Look at that. Mmm. There's so many flaky layers on this pastry. Chewy. A really light, fluffy texture. Mm. Drop in the soup. Oh, look, I'm opening up the pastry into the octopus clam chowder. You see the octopus right there? Oh, there's a clam right there. Oh, it's nice and piping hot. You see that steam coming out? Grab a clam here and I'm gonna test it out. Mm. Yo. This is so flavorful. It's like it's super smoky and so smooth. And you can really taste the clam in here. This is so rich. Flavor is just like explosion in your mouth. <laughs> this is so comforting. I'm sorry, I'm eating all of this. <laughs> can I eat all of this? <laughs> I got another one. It's so good. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> Here we have the very berry turkey sandwich with berry sauce. And you see some of the turkey meat in here, the cheese, the tomatoes, and some lettuce as well. This is a pretty large portion for a sandwich. Oh, look at that berry sauce. How do I eat this? <laughs> <laughs> it's so big. Oh, oh, it's like a three layer sandwich. Okay, so I gotta take it out. Mmm. It's a very light and refreshing feeling because you have the berry sauce in here. It's a little bit sweet in there. He also got some of the tomatoes as well. Turkey is nice and light. It's a very refreshing feeling. My mouth is so small, I can't eat the whole thing. <laughs> I gotta really like squish it down. Try the salad now. The balsamic chocolate oil vinaigrette. Mm. I love truffle oil. You can really taste the truffle oil and the balsamic vinaigrette. It's really nice. This is a really refreshing, light meal. This uh, sandwich and coupled with the soup. This is like a really, really hearty meal. So happy we're able to talk to Chef Jacob here. This one is cafe and bakery actually. And our theme, like basic theme is a farm to table. 
which means most of our ingredients that we're using from the local. So we order from the Alberta farm each other so that we can support local and then like the introduce on our food there. And our bakery is a like European bakery, but some of Korean flavor in there. Our chef is really experienced from Korea. Okay, so what would you say would be a must try dish at this okay. bakery? <laughs> so um must try dish for the our bakery cafe is uh, the chowder soups. So we put some the puff pastry, fresh baked the puff pastry from the bakery to to top and then we bake it in the house there so that the customer can like the break it out and then eat it together there. I think that's the one of our famous items in here. Kind of signatures. Appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you. Here we have the honey soy luster beef sandwich. So it looks like it's a nicely pressed grilled sandwich on the bread and it's super super crispy look it flakes off like that and inside the sandwich here we have the beef shreds inside with some lettuce honey glaze on the bottom it looks super juicy salad here as well with the balsamic truffle oil vinaigrette look at that, look at that. Mm. It is so crunchy. The honey glaze sauce is so nice and subtle and sweet. And the beef is so tender. Oh, Alberta beef for you, man. Mm. Kind of like sweet Korean barbecue, <laughs> which is really nice. So, yeah. Very moist, juicy flavor. But the bread is so crunchy, so it's really nice texture. So now it's time for dessert. We have the souffle cheesecake here. Mango Bosco lemonade. Mango orange waffle. Mm. The souffle cheesecake looks super light and fluffy. Look at the top layer of glaze right there. And then you have the thin layer of crust and the fluffy fluffy inside pastry cake. And it also comes with a nice little sign for their restaurant. Let's go and see how it flakes out. Oh, look at that. It's so soft and smooth. Mm, you can smell, you can actually smell the cheesecake here. It smells so good and fresh. Oh, that cheese flavor is so rich. Mm, this tastes like a Japanese cheesecake. Super light, very airy, and it's just subtle enough that it's not overwhelming, that you can keep eating it. It's just enough so you can actually enjoy the whole cheesecake without feeling like overwhelmed with flavors. Look how smooth and soft the inside of the cake is. Oh. Mm. Mm, it's so good. <laughs> I'm gonna try the mango Bosco Aid. It comes with a mint leaf on the top. And it looks like it's kind of nicely pureed mango with a little bit of slush in the drink. Okay, so there's like soda in here and a hint of lemonade, um, but also the mango as well. Really refreshing. Time to dig into the waffles. So here it comes with a full piece of waffle cut up into four tiny pieces. It looks like they also um, complement it with some whipped cream and ice cream here. And they have a nice little flower on the top. The aesthetics for that purple flower. Looks like there's some uh, the berries here, the strawberries, blueberries, and almond flakes on the top, the strawberry sauce. There's also some icing sugar um, sprinkled on top of the waffle with some mango puree. It's cut into one. I'm gonna get a little bit of that blueberry in there and some of the mango puree and a scoop of the ice cream to top it off. Wow, this ice cream, I didn't realize it's passion fruit ice cream. So it ends off really nicely and mixes really well with the mango. Oh, that ice cream is so good. I don't think I've ever had passion fruit ice cream before. And just load it up with all the berries. Get a piece of that strawberry in there. And then some mango. Mm, more berry explosion. Mm. 
my god, all that food was super delicious. There was so much selection, and it's actually really good for people with a light palate. It's super flavorful, but not overpowering. And there was such a good selection of drinks, sandwiches, soups, as well as desserts. And this location has so many beautiful spots for like Instagrammable photos. The decor here is gorgeous. So I took a lot of photos here. And if you're interested, definitely come and check out Le Bosco Cafe in Edmonton. And this is Vicky from Nomstop Foods.